your mentality, you know, you want to be physical. Um, is Do you feel like that mentality exists or is that something you're going to have to, and how do you make it happen if you don't feel like it's necessarily there yet? They can get there, but how do you get them there, that mentality? Well, I mean, I think most coaches say that. You know, I always joke, like nobody nobody says they want a really slow, uh, soft football team. You know, it's, you know, it's like when announcer says, hey, we want to start fast. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, nobody ever, no coach ever goes in the locker room. Guys, let's really like ease into this one. So same thing, I think you've got to get tough players as you're going through the evaluation. You know, you, you want guys that are tough minded. That's part of their the habits they have coming out of college or, or other teams. It is something you emphasis and you got to hold guys to that standard. That is part of it too. You know, and you hope to have enough guys and, and it's it's a point of emphasis and you hold your best players to that standard. You talk about holding people accountable. Uh, but it's, it's certainly, you got to go get some tough guys. It helps. <laughs> That's funny you say that because I remember one of the questions I got asked as a player. So do you guys think you can really win this game? So that's that's along the same lines what you talk. No, we're just practicing to go out yeah. and get a kick, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> I I took something out of our our last time you and I had this chance to discuss things, and you were talking to the high school coaches, and it, you got asked a question about where do you get your ideas? Where do you where do you continue right. to evolve on the off with plays and formations? And I was very interested in hearing how many different things you look at. Would you talk about that a little bit? Sure. Uh, that's what's fun about this time of year. Obviously, we're in year one, and we did a, a deep dive in our own roster and our own schemes that were run here as we're going through our schemes now in all three phases. Now you get into the college evaluation, and it's fun to go around the country and see there's a lot of ways people move the football. And you look at you look for ideas. It makes you think. It makes you kind of challenge what you're doing. Do you really have conviction? Which, which we do, but you've also been able to adapt and expand. And so there's some really creative coaches around the country. And it's fun to go watch other people and say, hey, this is kind of a good idea. This kind of fits the personnel or who we got. Or, hey, I might archive this for another day. Uh, this doesn't really fit us right now. But anything. I mean, it, you know, I look at stuff in, in other sports that I think it can, it can apply to football a little bit. You know, one thing we used situationally last year, I kind of stole from Roy Williams in North Carolina. I went to North Carolina. I'm a big basketball fan. And I, and I always think of this play that, that Luke May hit. You know, it's always the old argument, do you call – Timeout. You know, that's a subjective argument. You know, the game was tied. They go, defense not set, and, and they, they push the ball on court. Luke May hit beat, you know, we beat Kentucky. Ironically, down in Memphis, I was there to go to the Final Four. And the same thought we had last year playing Houston, and it's the same thing, whether you clock it or keep pushing. And we, we kept pushing it, same thought, thought we're gonna clock it, pushed it, and Ryan and AJ made a, made a hell of a play and took us to overtime. So those are the, all the decisions you make, you practice, but that's just one example of something I stole from basketball. And really, Roy Williams, I have to give him credit for that. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. Neat insight there. Okay, so a lot of travel for you this year. No combine. You're not going to get a chance to see a lot of pro days. How much does that kind of change up? Is that something you're looking forward to doing? Obviously, you are. You want to go see with the potential talent that's out there. But how much does that change up or maybe eat up some of the time you'd like to be in your office working on something else? Well, it's important to get out. You know, we, we can't go meet with the, the players in person. Uh, that's the closest thing we can. At least we can see some of these guys work out, which helps. It's just part of the process. You don't base everything on the pro day. But, you know, if anything in the last year taught us, as we've gone virtually, as you know, we were sitting here, we're doing interviews virtually. You can watch your film anywhere. You know, you, can, you could be in, in Mexico City, and as long as you got Wi-Fi, you can watch, you can watch film. And so it, 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 it helps the experience to have the last year to, to understand how productive you can be. If you got to work from home, you got to work in an airport, hotel uh you, you can you can find time to do that well arthur that's all i had for you man i appreciate you taking the time to do this i, I hope we didn't keep you too long because i know you're trying to grind and get ready to go play and win games but thank you for your time man. Oh, thank you dave appreciate your time